If you've always wanted to learn how to draw a beautiful cherry blossom, today is your day. Grab a pencil and if you've got 10 minutes of time, I promise you're going to be able to do this. Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and it's time for another illustration tutorial. Today I'm showing you exactly how to draw cherry blossoms step by step. We're going to do it quick and simple so that you can feel really confident illustrating this very pretty flower. I use cherry blossoms as the inspiration for my May plan with me theme, my bullet journal theme, and it turned out really pretty, but it was very colorful. So today I'm getting back to my roots, keeping everything black and white. We'll use pencil and fine liners, pens, and yeah, let's just get started. I'm working in my bullet journal. This is an Archer and Olive notebook, nice smooth paper, great for drawing on with pencil and pen. You're going to want a pencil and eraser. I like a mechanical pencil. And then you'll want some fine liners. And I recommend having a larger nib size and a smaller nib size. All the supplies are linked in the description. Now we'll begin our cherry blossom with a guide. I like to draw a circle. That's how big your flower will be. And then place another circle in the center. From there, we continue our guide with a wide X and then one last line at the top. So those are five petal guidelines. Then we draw in five petals. You can just do five circles or ovals. And then you go around and kind of shape those petals. Give them a little ruffled top or a broken edge. And those lines that you drew, they actually act as nice shading lines to give the petals their shape. From there, we draw a little circle of lines at the center, and that is the stamen. Our sketch is done. Let's go over it with the fine liner. As I said, supplies are linked in the video description below. And I want to do a contour drawing. So I'm just following my pencil sketch. I'm going over my five petals. For the stamen, I do a circle made of little lines. And then I go around and add all these tiny little dots. That gives me the nice, delicate cherry blossom uh, look. And that's my basic contour drawing. Then what we're gonna do is come in with that smaller nib fine liner and we're gonna add a little bit of shading. So some lines down the center of the petals, sort of showing their shape and movement. A few extra lines on the edges of the petals to show that they're a little bit textured, that kind of thing. And that's optional, but I think it adds a nice element of detail to our drawing. Okay, let's do one on an angle. So I begin with an oval and place an oval low in the, in the oval. <laughs> so it's not quite centered, it's low. And then we do that X with the line, place your petals. Those ones at the bottom are going to be much shorter because of where you placed your center. We'll reshape the petals, place the stamen, and then go over everything with our fine liner, our larger nib fine liner. This flower has that angled concave look, but all the elements and details and shading are predominantly the same. We've just done an oval and we've placed the stamen lower and that's you know made the difference. Those short bottom petals, shading lines are the same. I wanna take a second to thank Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service. Choose a new designer fragrance every month for just $16. Begin and grow your relationship with fragrances. You have a chance to explore and experience fragrances in your own home, on your body and your clothes, not in a room full of other fragrances. It's super flexible, so you can skip any month without penalties, and you can also upgrade to receive two or three products a month. Scentbird stocks top designer brands like Prada, Chanel, Chloe, Gucci, and more and they have over 600 brands to choose from. I received four lovely scents, Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana, Love High from Confessions of a Rebel, Bella by Vince Camuto, and Jasmine Majorelle by Le Jardin Retrouvé. And I really appreciated trying all these different scents because ever since the scent that I wore like when I was a teenager was discontinued years ago, I've never really settled on my perfect perfume. One scent that I wanted to try was Jasmine Majorelle and frankly, I really like it. When it came, I got this card and I can see the top notes like coriander and jasmine with a background of white musk, all scents that I look for in a perfume. I also fell for the love high because it's fruity but not sweet and floral and light and it just smells like spring. If you would like to try Scentbird for yourself, click the link below and use my code SC55 for 55% off your first fragrance. That's only about $7 for your first month. 
We're going to do one more and this one's like super angled. So I'm placing a semicircle really low. And then I just draw in the top three petals. The bottom petal is just like this tiny little thin, very horizontal petal as if you're seeing the outer side of it, not the inside. And you can see the details remain the same, the stamen, the shading lines, but you only see half of the stamen. And that gives us a look of a cherry blossom that's a little smaller. It's just sort of coming into blue and we might add a little bumpy stem and some tiny little buds and uh, you put all of these together all these elements and you're going to be drawing cherry blossoms all the live long day and you can do a whole page of blossoms some in bloom some on an angle some just sort of budding and I think you're going to be able to create something really really pretty so now that you know how to draw cherry blossoms, let's have a bit of fun and do a cute little journal illustration together. I've drawn a rectangle here in my notebook and then I'm going to start the illustration by drawing the guides. So we just learned how to do that. You decide how large you want the flowers to be and draw a circle. Large flower is gonna give you a large cherry blossom, a smaller circle for the smaller blossoms. You'll do ovals for those um, cherry blossoms that are on a bit of an angle. Just refer to the first half of this video. If you forget or you get confused, look back. I've shown you how to draw all the different sort of angles and types, and you're going to set out a little guide here. And we're drawing two stems sort of growing upward and the blossoms are getting a little bit smaller towards the top of that rectangle. And I've done some wide open cherry blossoms. I've done some that are a little smaller and on a bit of an angle, and that's gonna give me a nice natural look. Once I'm done my pencil guide, I'm going to grab my fine liner and we're going to do just like in the practice work, we're going to go around and do a contour drawing. And a contour drawing is just a line drawing without the shading. It's like making a coloring book image. We just want to go over everything and have this nice, simple, clean illustration. And then if you want to, you can add a bit of shading. I recently did... I recently did. You can get your hands on one. It's a Shady Campbell design, floral, navy blue, all the stuff I love. Check the link below this video or shop the merch shelf on YouTube. Once I've gone over all of my or most of my flowers, I'm starting to add the stems in behind, kind of these little crooked branches joining them all together. And I'm also placing some lines in each petal, like a couple little lines in the center of each petal help to give the look of the shape and sort of movement of the petals, I guess. You don't want them to look stiff or cartoon-like. I've also used a ruler to draw in the perimeter of that border that I had sketched out in pencil. And then I'm making my branches a little more crooked, a little weird, and just having some tiny little bits and pieces going off in every direction gives me that nice natural look. At this point, I want to just erase all of my pencil marks and clean up the illustration. I've got an almost completed contour drawing. Now I just need to add the stamens to each flower and I can also add a little bit of shading. So at this point, I'm down to the detail work. A little bit of shading on the petals and I'm using the smaller fine liner for that. And then of course, for the stamen, I do a circle made up of tiny lines and then I go around again and do a, a big sort of halo of dots. And that gives that very delicate, very light looking um, cherry blossom stamen look, I guess. <laughs> and this illustration, though it's small, and relatively simple and came together in just about 15 minutes. It's quite detailed and pretty and I think it, it's very impactful. This would look great as a sort of title page for your month or for your journal or notebook on the whole. I'm gonna write cherry blossom under there and then I'm all done. I had so much fun doing this cherry blossom practice with you. I hope you feel confident drawing this very pretty flower and for more content like this, please hit that subscribe button now.